Hello, Hopscotchers. We are back with the sixth episode of Game of the Day. You know the drill. We have some awesome games that you've created. We're going to play them, and at the very end, we'll announce which game is the Game of the Day. I am super excited for this video. We have some pretty cool games in store. First up, we have Hunger IO by Fundardo. Woo! So I am this little green dot. Oh, and I have to avoid all of these other obstacles. I really like this fluid control pad. Oh, and I eat all of the smaller particles that spawn as I move around. So I have to avoid all the bigger particles and slowly I grow bigger and bigger. Okay. <laughs> oh no, it's chasing me. Okay, this is so challenging. Wow, I really love how these particles spawn as I scroll across the universe. It really gives this feeling of it being an ever expansive universe. Wow, I am at the edge of the universe. Can I go further? Oh no, I fell out of the world. Well, Let's see if you could beat my high score. Thank you so much for coding such a fun game. I know I'll come back to it over and over again. Next up, we have Mini Games 2 by Awesome E. We have some background music and it says, Welcome to Mini Games 2. The old one became laggy, so Awesome E decided to make a new and improved one. Enjoy the games. Awesome E also includes a system to track high scores so if you get a high score on the game over screen publish the remix and the high scores will be checked every time awesome e decides to update mini games on the top right hand side we even have a toggle to turn the music on and off and a bit of info on the bottom right all right let's get started wow so we have a whole catalog of games to choose from we have galactic robots fruit ninja eclipse firehopper car chaos guess the biggest Clover Runner, and Flappy Bird, an ultimate classic. Wow, what game should I play? I'm gonna start out with Fruit Ninja. Whoa! <laughs> oh, game over! Did I accidentally slash the bomb? Oh gosh, tap anywhere to reset. Oh, fabulous, I could reset the game just by tapping the game over screen. Well, I was not too successful at Fruit Ninja. I'm gonna go back and let's try Clover Runner. Woo, oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> Let's try that again. Okay, round two, gotcha. So I will avoid the broken hearts and collect all the clovers. And I could track my score on the bottom left. Doing pretty well here. I could feel this game getting progressively faster. I was so close. Oh, I just missed a present, which is probably gonna give me some goodness. Well, next time. This is an awesome, fully functional arcade of so many games that are simple and super fun to play. There's even a way for everyone to get involved by sharing their high scores. There are different options to toggle from to customize your playing experience. This is so thoughtfully coded and such a fun experience. Thank you, Awesome E, for coding this mini games arcade. Next up, we have a card game by Petricor. Let's see. Tap me for help. Zoop. I don't have much time, but I can explain the basic rules of the game to you. You want to match one card from your collection to the current top card. You can match by either number or color. If no card in your collection matches, tap can't play to draw a new one. If you break a rule, you'll get a penalty. This includes two new cards. If you get more than 16 cards, you lose. If you use up all of your cards, you win. There's more rules, but I'm out of time. I love the character. You'll figure them out. Just pay attention to the red penalty messages. They say what you did wrong. Also, maybe lock your device's orientation, just in case. Really great tips. Thank you. Number, I matched by number. There we go. And now, can I match by color? There we go. Color again, color again, color. Color, color, color. Oh, fabulous. Goodness, I've been playing for quite some time. Woo! I was so in the zone 
I love this puzzle game. Try your best shot at winning this and using all of your cards. You could either match the card at the top by number or by color. I could play this for hours upon hours. Thank you so much, Petricorp, for coding this digital card game. Next up, we have one-on-one -on -one battles by The Onion. Pow pow! Instructions. This is a two-player game, a multiplayer game. Tap the fire button to throw out fireballs. The balls will bounce at the walls. If you get hit by a ball, you will lose 10 health points. And you have 100 health points when you start. Move your character with a joystick, rotate it with the buttons, and you have some special abilities that include homing ball, you have a laser, a shield, and a big blast. All right, I am ready. Whoa, let's see the bounce abilities. Whoa, whoa, that is such a crazy mechanic that you can't just shoot aimlessly at your opponent, but you also have to be wary of your own blasts because they could come right back to, because they could come right back to hit you. This is incredible. It even gives you your XY coordinates at the bottom so you could track where you are. Such an awesome game. Grab a friend and play one-on-one -on -one battles by The Onion. Thanks for coding this awesome game. Last but not least, we have Hectic Highway version 1.0.1 by Yuzamac205. Laptop emoji. Wow, fabulous graphics right off the bat. It says tap left to go left, tap right to go right and I will tap to begin. Okay, whoa, so fast. Whoa! Oh my goodness, game over. I'm gonna try one more time. Oh no! Okay, <laughs> one more time. Oh no! <gasps> one more time. No! Okay, here it is, here it is. I'm on a roll, oh no! One more time. I'm trying. I'm trying. Oh my. I like the slight rotation of the cars as it moves left and right. Oh my gosh. I am focused. I have my. No! I have. No! Oh. oh. Swerve. Oh my goodness. Did you see that? There were three cars. And I ran into so many of them. Well, I got a final score of five out of how many attempts? You tell me. This is crazily addicting. I will have to try over and over to get my skills up and beat my high score for sure. What's your high score? Give the game a try and share your high score in the comments below. Thank you, Yuzumac205, for coding this super challenging game. I definitely tried my best to beat that high score. And now, the moment we're all waiting for. Today's game of the day is... <laughs> Mini Games 2 by Awesome E. Woo! Congrats to all of these amazing games featured. You have to play these and check these out. I've left the direct links to the projects in the description below. Which one is your favorite? If you have a game you'd like to submit or recommend for us to play, go ahead and leave a comment or you could visit our forum. And that link is also in our description below. Keep on coding and creating. See you next time.